Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and this is my review of Catwoman number 24, which is weird. <laughs> I was reading that uh, Conan uh, miniseries by Saladin Ahmed, and it's in issue 4, and they've just been kind of meandering, but like issue 5 is the last one, so they got to wrap it up really quickly. And I'm just kind of used to that, you know, for the last 10, 15 years of things just being milked, you know, <laughs> pacing for the trade, as they say. So I'm reading a two-part story of two 20-page, uh, you know, sections, and it's weird. Like I'm not used to this. As soon as I start going, like, oh, cool, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of. You're like, okay, so we're wrapping it up. It's all done. So this is a two-issue story by Sean Gordon Murphy and uh, Blake Northcott. It looks like they both came up with the plot, and then Blake finished the dialogue. It's a fun kind of out of well not exactly out of continuity how would i describe this they they used to have these things called inventory stories and they would have nothing to do with the current you know if secret wars would be happening it would have <laughs> nothing to do with that it would just be kind of like a a generic adventure you can kind of plop in there anywhere you want to and uh while there is some uh reference to things that are happening currently you know leading up to a uh, joker war this could have kind of, you know, it could have come out six months, a year ago. Uh, so it's a very, very simple story of Selena Kyle going down to, uh, I believe, uh, South America and getting into an adventure with a bad drug dealer. The thing is, it's all good. It's fun. You know, they introduce characters. Um, uh, it's there's some a couple little light humor moments. There's some good action. The art is really good if you're looking at the screen we are kind of getting caught up with some i'll just skip to the action the action is just cool there's a great bit where they're like uh you know hey uh what's up with the who's guarding the generator they're like well this is his arm uh, so that should explain the power problems we're having and especially once it gets into like this panel especially i was like <laughs> This is so cool. Usually I just read it, but this one, I wasn't sure if this was a two or three parter. So I skimmed it and then I went and read it. So the whole time I'm reading this, I'm like, I'm having fun, but this sucks. <laughs> because I know that this team, gosh, I, I forgot to even check who the uh, artist was. Um, this whole team's good, but it's just two issues and it's going to some other team. I'm like, uh, can we get this? Uh, it, can we have them come back after the next team? Like, it almost feels like it's just a, like a, a tease. So um, uh, there's this giant uh, jungle cat and uh, Snow Flame, who is a cocaine-based superhero that I guess was an actual thing from, I'm guessing, the early 90s. Um, and uh, yeah, like even just look at this. This is just uh, uh, Catwoman hacking the Gibson over here. This is an awesome panel. I just freaking love it. Like I said, it's over fairly quickly. And when I mean it's over, like it's over. It's done. Now, I've been talking a lot about how I've been reading pre prestige books from the late 80s, uh, early 90s. These are like Killing Joke or Gotham by Gaslight. Uh, it's 48 pages square bound. And I found it's like an oddly satisfying length of a story. You can have, you know, good solid stories, subplot, prologue, after word, what is, coda, whatever you call it. Um, but this length, which is two 20 page stories, but honestly, the second issue has to kind of recap and get you up to speed. So there's about four or five pages kind of wasted as like, hey, remember this person, remember this, remember this, okay, okay, we're all on board. And now we got to wrap things up. Uh, because even like the last the last page is like, so the adventure ends and then we get uh, two more pages, or no, then, then we kind of got to have a, you know, three days later. So we get two days of after the adventure and then we get her back to Gotham. So <laughs> if you count four pages of catching you up in case you missed the previous issue and then three pages of, okay, now we're going back to the, you know, the Joker war and the next team, Okay, math, four plus ten. You basically get like 13 pages of story. So it's like, ah, I really could have used another issue. Yeah, that, yes, absolutely could have used uh, another issue. So 
I would say it's a recommend if you read the first one. Um, but if you didn't read the first one, yeah. I'm hoping they bring this team, this entire team back. I really thought they were quite uh, good. Um, the artist is Cian Tormi and FCO Placencia. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> It's so good that it sucks. It's so good that it sucks that it's over so quickly. So anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone giving to the GoFundMe, the Patreon, and the Indiegogo. Your funny original content and an original lawsuit. Right now I'm going to go give the final review for the pandemic print file. And then over the weekend we're going to finalize the do as you're told print file. And so I'm thinking Monday we'll be able to schedule printing. And, that, and that'll be two Indiegogos getting fulfilled basically at the same time. Um, and then I'll just have, uh, then I'm gonna concentrate. Basically all of September will be concentrating on Expendables. It's my most complex. It's got a soft cover with five different variant, you know, one main, four variants. And then it's got a hard cover. I've never done hard covers before. It's got multiple different, um, uh, stretch goals, bookmark trading cards, large sticker unit patch. So yeah, <laughs> I'm good. September's going to be very busy. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.